Welcome guys. When the patch notes for PUBG 14.2 got out, some changes that are not actually in the game snuck their way into the Russian patch notes. Those changes were noticed by someone in the community and then later player IGN shared them on his Twitter. And it seems like lean balance changes are coming. Something that personally I've been wanting, I've been looking for this. I, I would like to see this in the game because I think the whole wiggling is kind of dumb. Even though I do it myself, I think it's dumb, but let's go over this and talk a little bit about how this is probably going to be affecting the game. So first of all, let me just remind you that this is not in the game and there is no official um, announcement that this will be in the game. This was just in the patch notes and then got removed because it's not in the game. So updated lean balance. The developers have analyzed various aspects of lean abuse. To solve this problem, we're introducing a new penalty mechanic which affects the following parameters. Recoil, deceleration, penalty to kickback, and swing slash displacement. The penalties are only applied when the player leans way too many times in a period of two seconds. It does not apply to leans on only one side. Instead, the more often you lean left and right, the stronger the penalty. All right, so what does this mean for the game? Well, first of all, it obviously means that you're not gonna be lean spamming anymore. But when we look at these things here, when we look at the recoil aspect, what can we expect from a recoil and nerf related to wiggle? That's a little bit difficult to say though. Will your gun suddenly have more recoil? It doesn't really make sense. It makes more sense to me if it's gonna be like more like horizontal recoil, like the gun will be of course, it was going to be not going to be held as perfectly as when you're holding a gun and shooting it because you're you're going to do like this. So the gun will be swinging a bit left and right and thereby it will affect the recoil. Like it's going to feel like there's more recoil, I would assume. But I think it's going to be horizontal, not actually vertical, but we'll see. And then we got deceleration. That's probably going to mean that when you lean left and right, the more you do this, the slower you will lean. You're going to decelerate in your motion. So if a lean would normally be like this, <laughs> then it's instead it's going to be like, right? The faster you lean is going to be like, you can't actually do it that fast. Simple uh, diminishing returns to the speed of the animation or the motion that, that more like that. And then we got to have penalty to kickback. So kickback, uh, I believe that this is probably going to be how much your gun bounces, right? So it makes sense in the sense that your gun will bounce more when you move fast left and right leans. Like when you get those left and right leans fast, it's going to be kicking up higher because you're not going to be holding it as firmly and as, as in, a, in, a, in a tight grip. So it's going to be kicking up more between shots. This is going to affect when you shoot with a DMR, like the, the, the gun will simply kick more. It's going to be, it's going to feel like it, it bounces more. And then we got swing slash displacement. And this is going to be probably like weapon sway. You know how your weapon sways? You hold the gun, you're not holding shift. The gun will sway a little bit, nice and slow. This right here will probably mean that when you do this, the gun will be moving around. You're going to have some motion in the gun. So if you do this fast, you can't just take an easy shot because your gun is going to be swinging. It's going to be displacing. It's going to be swinging. It's going to be swaying, right? So that's probably what it's going to, what it's going to mean. Everything combined is going to be a pretty significant nerf to leaning. This is pretty much going to remove the, the lean spam from the game. Like you're not going to be doing this anymore. It's, of course, really difficult to, to, to say how this is going to be, but you're not going to be leaning left and right rapidly while shooting anymore. Simply. You're not going to be doing that. That's going to be too simply not viable anymore. My opinion about this is that this is a good change. I do find it's really stupid that we're, we have to do this. I'm doing it myself, but it's silly. Like, why is this even a thing? Um, You put snipers at a big disadvantage when you are in a DMR versus sniper duel if the DMR player is just wiggling rapidly. Some people argue that, well, then I cannot take out the sniper. Then he's got the better, he's got a better chance at me. Well, yeah, this, that, the snipers are not really that good. 
the sniper should have the advantage in a direct duel where both of you are just sitting there and shooting each other, right? It should, because otherwise, when will it ever really have the advantage over a DMR, right? It needs to be in that situation. If the sniper guy is running in the open, the DMR can just tap, 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 sniper dead. If the DMR guy is running in the open, the sniper needs to hit that perfect shot in his head. I think this is a good change. I think it's also a good change because I do think that it looks ridiculous when we do this leaning spam. It looks stupid. I think it looks dumb. And uh, while that is not an argument in itself, I just think the game will look better. It's going to look more serious. It's going to feel better. And um, it's going to also be a, a good balance when it comes to very good players versus newer or not so good players that are not able to do this because a lot of very good players are able to do this and, and a lot of players are not that good are not able to do this. And this is the biggest problem in PUBG right now. We're not getting new players to the game because the game is too difficult. New players are getting stomped. They're getting owned and they just leave. They just play something else. This is not fun to get owned. And while I'm not really necessarily a big fan of reducing the difficulty of a game to make it more casual so more people can enjoy playing it. In this case, that needs to happen to PUBG. The game is on the path towards death. I mean, this is, <laughs> that sounded really bad, but it is. Like, I just ended my stream today after about two hours because either I had to wait like five, eight minutes between games, that takes out the momentum and like the, the flow of, of playing, or I have to play against bots, or I have to play with extreme ping, like 300 ping in this case, because I was playing in a different region. Like, it, it, that just, that's not good. That's not good. And when you finally do get into games where you've been waiting for a very long time, it feels like everybody's hiding way more than normal. Like everybody's scared to die and no one really wanna die after waiting that long. So it also kind of affects how the game feels once you're finally in the game. And it also makes the game feels slower and more dead. So, so this needs to happen. The game desperately, uh, desperately needs new players to join. And uh, this is that not going to not going to do that, but it might be one step on the way. So guys, I'm very interested in hearing what you think about this. I know there's some people are, that are very mad about this that are very unhappy about this and other people who are very happy about this. But I hope that the people who are very mad about this can also kind of see why it makes sense. Just like when you nerfed bunny hopping in Counter-Strike back in the day, this is a change that makes sense. It's called lean abuse because this is a mechanic that was not intended to be spammed. It's a mechanic that was intended to be used to be able to lean out from a corner and back not to be wiggle shooting with an SLR. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.